what's going on guys so today we're just going to be taking a look at a few features of apple carplay that you can adjust so to access apple carplay from your phone you're just going to go to settings and then general and then you'll see carplay listed right there under spotlight search and handoff so when you hit carplay it's going to give you a few options what it's saying there basically is that if your car supports wireless CarPlay, you can press and hold the voice control button on your steering wheel to start CarPlay setup. The Mustangs currently don't support wireless CarPlay, so that doesn't apply to us. All right, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit Sync 3 because that's the system that I have Apple CarPlay linked to, at least one of them anyways. Now, let's say that I want Spotify to show up on the first page. I can hold this down and then I can just drag it over here and I can reorder it. Um, so I can also, let's go ahead and also move Pandora over because I'm more likely to use that than I am podcast. Right there, put that here. Now we got rid of audiobooks and podcast and we have those moved over to the second page. All right, so now that we have the layout the way that we want it, we can go ahead and hook our lightning connector up here. And we'll start the car, or turn it into accessory mode anyway. I'm not going to fully start the car. That's not required. And once everything loads up, Apple CarPlay will initiate. And there we go. So as you can see now, Pandora, Spotify, they're in the new locations that I have and podcast and audio books are moved over so you do have to do this from your phone you can't do it from here so if i'm just holding down podcast you see that nothing happens i can't drag it or anything so that that does need to be controlled from your phone but you know this is good information to have in case you guys are wondering how you move apps around and one other thing that you can do on apple carplay that you can't do on android auto and let me just unlock my phone here. But you can basically still use your phone as normal when you see that Apple CarPlay is still showing up. So I can go into, uh, let's say, the iTunes Store. And as you can see, the iTunes Store popped up. Uh, we can switch over to music. So you can still use other apps on your phone, and you can see that Apple CarPlay is still initialized here. But what you'll notice is if I hit Maps here, and it's also going to put it back up on the uh, on the phone there. Uh, one thing that you cannot do, in case you're wondering, is something that I tried is is running Waze. So you can you can hit Waze, and it will initialize, and we'll cancel that out. Um, so Waze will initialize. You can use Waze, but it's not going to allow you to use Maps at the same time. So if I hit Maps, it's going to take it straight back to Maps. As you can see so you can't have both of those running at the same time unfortunately but it's good in case you you know you want to go back and check your email or something like that or look at photos or check you know let's go to like the CNN app for example we can load that up and we're still in Apple CarPlay um, now let's see what happens if we're in Maps and then we hit the home button, you'll see that it goes back to home. So you can use other apps while you're in CarPlay, um, but it's basically going to take you back to the home screen. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys just in case you were wondering how to move around icons in Apple CarPlay. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support and see you next time.